Right, I'm uh, just making, I'm going to make uh, some flowers. So here's my box of bits and pieces. I'm just searching through for some, oh I forgot I had them. Searching through for bits, you know, that I might want to use. We've got some of that. This is what I call my scrap box, so... Oh, found a crystal, a uh, diamante. Um, yeah. And quite a few trims in that that I could use. I'm going to use them. May I want to use that. Uh, some of that maybe maybe some of that flower might want to use that so this is just my uh, scrap box like I say and the things I use often right okay so I think well, I might want to use that touch of pink right and uh, I'm always doing this sort of thing. Let's take a bit of this. So again, this is a, another scrap flower. Get a bit more out of that, but not out of that. Get a bit more out of that. Right, there's my base. Now, let's just see. Oh, and I've got some of these as well. What did I see? Uh, this one, I think it was. Yes. Let's just have a look, see what we can get out of this. Oh, I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry if I um, upset somebody yesterday. Um, the lady commented that I should be well prepared beforehand. No. I don't have to be, uh, because I craft as I go along. Um, if you want to see somebody who's staged, uh, then it, you're in the wrong place. I craft as I go along. And that's how I share how ideas uh, appear, sort of thing. But you're definitely in the wrong place if you think I... Um, you want a staged performance. I'm not performing for nobody. This is me crafting because I like crafting and I bring everybody along with me. Sorry, but I do. And um, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time I've been told I'm not professional. Uh, I think after 55 years of crafting, I can say I am. <laughs> so, I can't, I, don't, I can't believe people can be picky. There's no need for pickiness. There's enough um, people with problems without somebody, you know. I mean, she did say she likes the videos. Well, that's all well and good, and I, and I do appreciate I really, really do. And I'm not having a go, but your comments, I've got a broad back. And I don't care what I do anyway, or what people say about me. But some people haven't. And if you're doing that to somebody who's just started, who's timid or whatever, it's not very nice. It's not. And I think you should... People should... Not you, personally, but people should think about what they're saying and doing to other people because it really does affect others. And I'm only bringing it to the forefront because... I get letters from people who say they'd done a video or well, two or three videos, thought it was going to be great to work on YouTube and they've stopped because they get people complaining of silly things. And I'm thinking, I know, I've gone through it. <laughs> it you don't realise though that so many people suffer today with problems, issues, mental problems, whatever. And what you say can affect somebody else. So, you know, when I was growing up, we were all tough as old bootlace. That's what my dad used to say. 
tough, tough as old boots. And um, we didn't bother. It things you could say what you like to us would either scrap with you and tell you to shut up, or ignore you, or whatever. Today it offends people, and I aren't being funny, but I do also agree that we need to grow a backbone. A lot of people need to grow a backbone because you're offended far too easily. So it's both. I feel for both. Do you know what I mean? It's. We do need to grow a backbone again. Where's it gone? Where's that old British stiff upper lip sort of thing? And instead, people, they are offended really quickly. And it's sad, to be honest. It really is sad. But because it happens these days, um, we do have to be careful um, on the sort of things we say to others <laughs> just <laughs> I am so sorry I'm not laughing at anybody but in particular I'm just it's just some people have no clue how to approach anything and it's sad I mean I've worked in school so I know that kids can be easily offended and oh my god I'm thinking grow backbone and we do say that to them Uh, life and people are not like they used to be and they should be they should get back to what it was because at the end of the day um, you're losing everything we're losing it all way of life so different I hope I'm in shot actually because I never thought of that. Um, and you're saying to yourself, Fee, what the hell are you doing? I have no idea. <laughs> I've got none whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just playing around. <laughs> I hope you like the flowers I did in the last video. They're a lot that we've been doing for a long while. This is another scrap flower. And these are just tip bits that I'd left. End of rolls, whatever, from a project. And I'm just thinking, oh, show them how to use them. I've seen a massive, massive change in uh, kids. Um, I don't know whether it's all that crap they keep pumping into the system, this vaccine, that vaccine, whatever it is, there's a massive change in children's mental behaviour um, and something's causing it. Now, me personally, I never fed my kids junk and a junk food. We had proper home-cooked meals. Um and you know the proper breakfast dinner and tea uh, and we didn't we weren't well off or anything so but we knew how to cook and you give a woman a pan a bag of rice and a bit of seasoning you can make a meal uh, and the many a time we lived like that you know until we could afford things but today i just don't i don't know what it is today there's something wrong with some of the kids and I do firmly believe it's um, apart from the fact that they're getting indoctrinated, which they are, uh, they're going to find it extremely difficult and hard when, let's just say, there's a crisis 
they're going to be absolutely stuffed. They will not know what to do. They're not taught any proper skills. Everything's computer. They're not taught life skills. And it's going to be really horrific. And I mean horrific. It's, it's just... I feel so bad for them. I have no idea how anyone is going to cope under the age of 35, to be honest. And it's not a laughing matter. At all. I mean, I'm part of the last generation, you know, the next generation to go, because most people have lost their grandparents by now. And um, I just I just think it's going to be so, so sad, really sad, that things have got as bad as they have. Like I say, these are just scraps of bits and pieces that I've had. Like that. Let me just see. to do that now no nope, let's have a bit of tassel I think let's take the tassel section off to be on there. Do I want that like that? Yes. There. Let's have a tassel we've made. See how easy they are when they're ready made. But um you know, regarding the kids, I do think it's up to us now. They, we are the last generation that knows the difference between life as it is today and life as it was. And when we're gone, it's gone. Everything's gone. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And they don't understand that, kids. My grandchildren are quite aware of what's happening um, and they're quite aware of um, how things are. But not everybody is. Right, we do sell these. Remember what I've said to you about feathers? You can use it all up, don't waste. Now that's way too big for what I want. I only need half. But I might use both pieces. It was just too long. Showing you what to do. Okay, so we've, that's the top half. Just a little bit of glue. Let it cool, be careful of your fingers. And we make a little tuft. And we do exact same thing with this. I'm gonna take that off. And that way, see you can't put it on like that with a V in it, it doesn't look right, but you can do it. If you just cut that. 
and you've sorted it all out. Look, and another little tuft. Lots of tips and tri uh, tricks that we have. Now I'm going to pop that in there, that first one. And I think I'll put that one next to it as well. Glue, glue, lady, glue, glue. And we can pop that one. I'm going to bend that a little bit and put that there. That's it. That's what I was after. Right. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to pop that in the middle. And then I think... Because we've got that touch and hint of pink, we might just use a pink bead. Uh, no. Let me just see what I can find in my uh, diamante drawer. Sorry, I've got stuff where I don't need it. <laughs> okay, do you know, I wonder where I'd have put them. They're in the shop, I think. That'll do. We're already made up. And that sits well in, in the little well thing there. Now, all we need is a stick pin. Now, I did make one yesterday and I thought it was beautiful, this one. And I'm actually going to use that in there. Oh, that's just stunning. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is to glue that in. Drop some glue behind. I'm going to make some more of them. They're gorgeous. And there you go. Very quick and easy. Shabby sheet flower. I want to do something here. Let me just put something in there. I might, might just put a... Let's put a pink leaf in. Why not? It just seems a bit empty there. That's better. Look at that. Just beautiful. I'm going to have to make another one now. Ah, they're easy to do and just mix and match them in fact i could put i might have a little pink let me just sit um what's this that, that'll do a little button look just for bling oh pretty How's that? The earrings, just I get them at the car boot and that. Chop them off and oh, that's a button, but this one is just as good. Chop that off, cut that off, you got little decorations. Right, that'll be in the shop shortly. <laughs> People like to buy what I make, so that's what I do. Now I'm just gonna move all that over. Yeah. Right, that's the first one. Let's do another one then. Let's get some more. Felt. Let's do a, a different shape. We'll do an oval one for a change. You know that I can put on a page or a a plaque. Just, it's just a way of uh, sorting them out. So, what we're going to do, let's start with this then. It's already gathered. We don't have to gather it any further. Let me see. Right, so I'm going to pop it on here. Don't have to go all the way around. And although it's gathered, 
Oops, I've just dropped my glue gun. And although it's gathered, if I've time, I can gather it a bit more, like that. So I'm going to work my way around. I might put it all the way around, I don't know yet. Like I say, this can go onto a plaque. I don't, I don't want to go all the way around. I'm going to go halfway. What do you think? Yeah, and I can do something else. See, a lot of people just take it all the way around, but I don't want to. Like that, just gonna make sure that's stuck down. Now let's have a fo right, we're gonna have a focal point. So let's see what cameo we have. Yeah, we can have that. We can put that in a frame. Frame maybe, and I think that's too wide. Yeah, not wrong shape, but we can put it into there. Right, so we've got a cameo we can use. Right, I'm just going to pop that into there. Centre that up. That'll do. It was a necklace or something. Add something on it right so we've got that I'm just going to use a little bit of this because you can mix and match all your laces might be enough on here I'm going to cut mine down so I don't want it as deep as that Okay. Do you know what? Our Billy May turned 16 this in January and our Ethan's 16 this month, day after my birthday. Yeah, it's my birthday, I'm another year older. It's my birthday in March, uh, March 25th. 59. <laughs> I nearly swore then. <laughs> I can't believe it, to be honest. The years are just flying past. Because I clearly remember all the other years. <laughs> but 59, yeah. Big 6 or next year. God. <laughs> well, it comes to us all. <laughs> as long as I've still got my faculties. Let's do that. Bit of glue there. Just to pin them edges together. And that's the start of a flower. Not sure what we're going to do with that afterwards. I'm going to pop that on that side there yeah I'm going to do a fancy tassel let's do another one of these, love doing these I can't wait to see who's going to win Right, let me get this right. If 
that's the oval there, then that has to go there. Yeah. Like that. Right, let's have a look. See what oh I've got some of this. No, don't want to do that. Let's get some leaves on. I can use that this time, can't I? Half of that. Let's see. Right, got one of those. I've even got a plastic one I might use. Another one of those. Let's do the suede ones because I love putting a couple of those in each flower if I can. Like a suede. Uh, I'll have a pink one. Oh, wait a minute. Where's the pink? There's the pink. Might have a couple of those. Let me just get a flower. Actually, I like that. It's going. Put plenty on. I mean, you should use glossy accents. Not glossy accents. Um, press that down. Um, something that will glue metal, but that will stick it. It will. I'm going to put this on now. don't know where it came from. Let's cut that straight across there. Choose something else for you. Don't have it. Don't waste it. Right, let me just see. No. Where's them feathers? I'm going to have a bit of feather. Now this feather's got a kink in it, look. But that's going to be good. I'm going to turn it that way and have that in there like that with let me just see I want something glittery I'll just see what I take out Oh. oh, I actually like that there. Just pop that there. And then 
then let's have a look. I've got this, which is like a, a bow. It's from an old bit, something old. I was going to, yes, I'm going to attach it there. If I sit this right. Sit that there. See how it looks like it's all one. Just something missing. Let me get some. Let me look at some pearly bits. Not sure if I think oh stick pin, that's what's missing. Do you know what? Do you remember the one I made yesterday? It's black. Yeah, I think that suits that. Just pull it out a little bit. There you go. Bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> you know, get get all your scraps out. Get all your bit. I mean, it don't matter if it's a little section of this and a little section of that. Get all your scraps out and. Um, bit of feather, some stick pins, a little bit of bling, some at focal. This is the focal point with the stick pin, and this is the focal point with that and this. Several leaves, different bits and pieces, bit of lace here and a bit of lace there. You don't have to have it all the way around. And there you go. You can create something stunning that you cannot buy in the shop. And if you could, how much would it cost you? A lot of bloody money. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.